As we all navigate these unusual times and get closer to the opening of school, this video will provide an overall plan for instruction, understanding that the unique nuances of each grade level and subject area may alter slightly. Your building principal will be communicating with you regarding specific school-based details for opening day. Please realize that we will balance providing direction to staff with allowing teachers to use their professional discretion regarding content delivery and timing of lessons. All students will participate in four hours of instruction in the morning. Sample schedules for both elementary and secondary schools can be found on the district website. In order to participate in virtual instruction, parents will be asked to sign a permission slip allowing their child to participate in the digital sessions. Along with this, students and parents will need to review and agree to the technology acceptable use policy. At the onset of each period, the whole class should begin together with their teacher, both in-person students and remote students. Teachers will take attendance and ensure all students are ready to learn. Direct instruction of the day's content will follow at the time during the period that the teacher deems appropriate. This could happen concurrently for all students in the class, regardless of location, or a teacher may support the in-person students, then work with the remote students while the students in class are completing an independent assignment, or vice versa. Teachers may keep the video sessions open while interacting with students in the classroom. However, the audio should be muted while individualized feedback is being offered. Keeping the video session open will allow remote students to raise their hands or ask questions in the chat while completing their independent work. Teachers will be sensitive to technology issues and will make accommodations on a case-by-case -case basis. While students are in person, teachers will provide differentiated instruction and prioritize hands-on learning experiences. After the first weeks of school, afternoon sessions with students will begin. Students will log in during their scheduled times to have additional instructional periods with teachers. Teachers at the secondary schools will meet with students in each period class at a scheduled time. This time may be used for whole class discussions, assessment, or small group work, for example. These sessions will be required for students and will be used as a class participation grade. At the elementary level, part of the afternoon sessions will be dedicated to asynchronous special area lessons and part for remediation and enrichment activities. Elementary principals will also schedule support for basic skills and ESL students as appropriate in the afternoon. Teachers will do all they can to accommodate individual circumstances while still ensuring they are helping students learn. Keeping in mind screen time recommendations from the American Pediatric Association, students will not be required to be on the computer all day. While not logged in with their teacher live, students will be expected to complete independent assignments. Teachers will ensure that what is planned for all students is both developmentally appropriate and able to be completed independently. Older students should be able to engage in the day primarily independently with just some reminders from the adult caretaker. However, we do expect that there will be times when our youngest learners may need some parental support. For example, a kindergarten student may not yet read independently and may need help with tricky words, or he or she may play a math game that requires a partner. These activities can be completed at a time outside of the school day if needed. For the 2020-21 school year, we are implementing a system that will allow for a simpler login process for our younger learners in grades 2 and below. This system will allow you to easily log these students into their Chromebook using a QR code from Parent Access. The code can either be printed or downloaded onto a smartphone. Once the code is held up to the Chromebook camera, the student will be logged in. Once logged in, the student will navigate the menu to choose the application they need. 
established assessment and grading practices will resume in accordance with board approved policies. Assessing student mastery of skills and concepts will be done both when students are in school and at home in various ways, such as quizzes, projects, written assignments, presentations, etc. On days when students attend school in person, they will not be taking tests all day. Assessments will be utilized for all students, regardless of which model they have chosen. Opportunities for students to meet with their teacher virtually for small group instruction and independent conferences for feedback will also be scheduled. In elementary schools, students are assigned their own desk for the entirety of the school day. Teachers rather than students will switch classes. At the secondary level, students in each period should be assigned a single use seat. For example, if there are six students in period one and six students in period two, students will sit in their own designated seat. Teachers may wish to label desks with a period number to ensure that students sit in their assigned sanitized space. Staff and students will maintain a safe distance and wear their masks throughout the on-site instructional day. With certain populations and in some instances, it may not always be possible to maintain social distancing between staff and students. These interactions should be minimized and kept brief. The same holds true for student-to-student -student interactions. There will be times when student collaboration may require them to speak to one another with less social distancing. However, these interactions should also be brief to the greatest extent possible. If students will be sharing equipment or materials in any classroom at any time, they will be required to wash or sanitize their hands prior to the use of the equipment as well as after. In addition, those items will be sanitized with a cleaner in between use. Please know that administrators are collaborating on a plan to ensure technology and instructional materials are disseminated to students prior to or at the very start of the school year. We will start the school year with three full days of professional development and the professional learning of our staff will remain a high priority throughout the year. Furthermore, there will be no scheduled afternoon student sessions during the first weeks of school. These afternoons will be dedicated to further professional development for our staff. We are sensitive to how challenging these times are for everyone and want to assure you that we are here to support your child. Parents should contact their child's school principal or counselor to discuss individual circumstances. Please share any feedback you may have with your building principal. We thank you for your continued flexibility and support of the East Brunswick Public Schools. Enjoy the remaining days of summer.